not all of the new iPhones are created equal. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. There's a bit of controversy swirling around the new iPhone 6S. It's not a big problem, but of course you can't have an iPhone launch without a little controversy. Apple used two different companies to make the A9 processor chip inside of the iPhone 6S. Some have a processor made by Samsung and others have one by TSMC. Multiple reports online are saying that TSMC chips give the iPhone better battery life performance compared to Samsung's chips. Apple released a statement that says it found the battery life to vary just two to three percent between models. You can see which model you have with an app called Lirum Device Info Lite. And the hardware model on the bottom gives you a number that you can search online to see if it's Samsung or TSMC. We're testing both models out and we're still in the middle of a battery test, but so far we're not seeing any significant processing speed differences. But that's not the end of the Apple drama if you think apps in Apple's App Store are always safe. Think again. Last month, more than 20 malware-infected apps made their way into the store, but that time you may not have worried because most of the infected apps were only popular with Chinese users. Now Apple is pulling a different batch of apps over privacy worries. The problem deals with some ad-blocking apps. Some were promising to block advertisements shown inside of other apps, like ads on Facebook. To do that, those apps were installing root certificates, and that allows an outside party to spy on your private info and monitor your activity. Apple released a statement that it removed these apps, and it's working with the developers to re-release their apps without the security risk. Apple didn't say which apps were pulled, but we know of one popular ad blocker called Bin Choice. It said on Twitter that it was pulled and it's changing its app. And even if you don't care about iPhones, don't worry, I have irritating news for everyone. Netflix is raising its standard streaming price to $10 a month for subscribers in the U.S., Canada, and Latin America. It's just a dollar more, but it's the second price hike in two years. Existing members will not see the bill go up for another year. The new price kicks in on November 18th for any new subscribers. And speaking of price hikes, Verizon customers still holding on to those unlimited data plans are going to see their bills go up by $20 after November 15th. The company stopped offering unlimited data plans to new customers back in 2011, and Verizon says less than 1% of customers have been renewing their old unlimited plans. Anyone on a contract will not see the price change until their contract expires. A few days ago, Sprint also raised its unlimited rate by $10 a month. That's it for this Tech News Update. There's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.